Hello and welcome to Almaty Kazakhstan for the most anticipated and potentially exciting match of the year so far in the WSB Season 4. Defending champions Astana Arlands of Kazakhstan with an unbeaten record go up against the newcomers to the WSB, the Cuba Domadores, who also boast an unbeaten track record coming into this fourth week. And first up in the flyweight division, the young and old, the experienced Miras Zakupov. With Kazakhstan fighting for the first time this season in the black and gold shorts up against Gerardo Cervantes, 20-year-old newcomer from Cuba who's already won his first fight of the season against Kozlovsky of Poland. An incredibly close match, hard fought by both boxers and of course both boxers eager to get the opening bout win under their team's belts. But it was Zakopov whose experience paid dividends and who took the hosts and home team 1-0 up after the first bout. Another stark contrast in the second bout of the evening in the lightweight division. Lazaro Alvarez of uh, Cuba, the 2013 world champion up against a newcomer for the Astana Islands, Zandos Momonov. He took his time to get warmed up, uh, Alvarez, but uh, slowly and surely, the skills of the twice-crowned world champion and Olympic bronze medalist started to show through. It was a brave performance by Momonov, but Alvarez maintains his unbeaten track record and his second win of his young WSB career. Another world championship medalist up for Cuba in the welterweight division. Arisnoides de Spania, who took the silver here in Almaty at the Worlds back in October, put on a very impressive display. A shock on the canvas in the early exchanges by his opponent, Kozhabekov. But the Cuban showed real guts and determination to come back from that shock knocked down in the early exchanges to put down a brutal performance in the second and third rounds. And this onslaught in the fourth gave the referee no option but to stop proceedings and for Despagna to collect his second TKO in successive fights on the World Series of Boxing. Brutal shots to the body and to the head, giving the referee no choice but to stop this bout in the fourth round. Two technical knockouts from two WSB bouts for Despagna of Cuba. A brilliant performance. On to the light heavyweight fight and another world champion in action, Julio Cesar La Cruz, who successfully defended his uh, world light heavyweight title here in October up against Jorge Sepp, who put on a brave performance in the opening exchanges. But as the bout unfolded, La Cruz started to show all of his skills. There was a wobble at one point where Sepp connected with a big right hand and almost put the Cuban down on the canvas. A wobble of the legs, but like we'd seen from the Domodores all night long, a spectacular recovery. By rounds four and five, the world champion was starting to show his wide repertoire of boxing skills. Sepp battled bravely, but a unanimous decision and a victory for La Cruz, who also makes it two from two in his young WSB career. The win for La Cruz seals the victory for Cuba, but with one fight left on the card, it was the super heavyweights wrapping up the evening here in Almaty. Filip Hergovic for the hosts up against uh, Jose Lardue for Cuba. Lardue seemed to have the better of the opening exchanges in the early rounds. But once again, the cards were turned, this time in Kazakhstan's favour. In the second round, Hergovic putting Lardue on the canvas with a big right hand. And in the third, 
A 21-year-old Croatian raised his game once again. An onslaught of punches giving the referee no choice but to stop the competition in the third. And Kazakhstan pull a valuable win back to make it 3-2 to Cuba on the night. Cuba maintained their unbeaten track record, but a valuable point earned for this win for Filip Hergovic to take it to 3-2. Hergovic celebrates his 17th career win, the WSB, and his fourth TKO. Confirmation of the 3-2 victory for Cuba. They keep their unbeaten track record and top the table in Group B, still undefeated so far this season. Hello and welcome to the WSB Season 4, Week 4. The runners-up from last year, Ukraine Ottomans take on the 2012 champions, Dolce and Gabbana, Italia Thunder. Both these teams undefeated so far this season. Both these teams know that the winner of tonight's competition will go top of Group A four weeks into the 2014 season. And first up in the light flyway division, two new rookies and two youngsters making their debut on the WSB. Vadim Kudorakov up against that Gianluca Conselmo. A standing count early on for Conselmo of Italy. Some great skills from the 19-year-old Southport in the blue and yellow striped shorts for Ukraine. And a big, powerful left hand in the opening exchanges, really causing the Italian troubles. And that was to be the story throughout the five rounds, there again, the big strong left hand from the Southport, doing all kinds of trouble for the Italian. In the fourth, again, great combinations. And a confident close in the fifth round. A second count for the Italian. Spelt doom and gloom for Italia Thunder in the opening match of the five. Bout one going to Ukraine. The home side, a unanimous decision for Kudra Yakov in his first WSB win of his career. Butsenko up against Jelkia. Jelkia, a real tough opponent. Now, uh, Nikola Butsenko started the first round strong, started the first round well. Getting the better of the French boxer, fighting for Italia Thunder. The French boxer came back in the second, looking stronger, more positive and more aggressive. In the preceding third, fourth and fifth round, this attacking style from the Frenchman started to catch the attention of the judges and a much more consistent point scoring final three rounds from uh, Jelkia gave the visitors their first win of the evening, tying the scores at one apiece with a split decision victory for Kidafi Jelkia. Light heavyweights and the Lithuanian Olympic bronze medalist Petrauskas up against Branimar Stankovic, a seasoned campaigner for the Italia Thunder with a 7-2 record and three seasons in the WSB under his belt. But the 21-year-old Lithuanian boxing for Ukraine clearly showed that that Olympic bronze medal from London 2012 was the story of things to come. Petrauskas puts another win on the board for Ukraine, taking them 2-1 up in the light welters. 
Two old rivals met in the middleweight division bout. Mitrofanov in the blue and yellow shorts for Ukraine up against Michel Tavares, another Frenchman boxing for the Italia Thunder. Both boxers have met once before, and each boxer has won one of those encounters. But it was Mitrofanov that had the better of Tavares. And as the bout unfolded, the Ukrainian started to dominate, and the southpaw for Italia Thunder had very little to offer in return. Hard-hitting body shots, electrifying uppercuts, slowly but surely breaking down the French boxer's challenge. And Mitrofanov takes the win in the middleweights and the win for Ukraine. In the last bout of the evening, the newly crowned world heavyweight champion Clemente Russo for Italia Thunder went up against Serai Caraneu. Caraneu, who's been away from the WSB for two seasons, was to make a sensational comeback in the heavyweight 91 kilo division. Clemente Russo, twice an Olympic silver medalist, a newly crowned world heavyweight champion from the recent championships in Almaty back in October, looked good in the opening exchanges, but just wasn't throwing enough punches. In rounds four and rounds five, Caraneo came back at the veteran, and let's not forget, Russo has 17 wins and just one defeat in his WSB career to date. But Caraneo was relentless, kept coming forward, attacking. He knew he had a slim chance of breaking down Clemente Russo, and he did just that, with a series of combination in the fifth and final round to turn the tables and take the biggest surprise of the night. Caraneo, in only his fourth WSB fight, gets the better of the world champion Clemente Russo to end a memorable evening for Ukraine Ottomans. A 4-1 victory, and Ukraine go to the top of Group A. Hello and a very warm welcome to highlights of this week four, season four, Group A matchup between the home team Argentina Condors, currently in fifth place in Group A with one point from their three outings so far, taking on the visiting Algeria Desert Hawks, currently in fourth place in Group A with three points from their two outings, one win and one loss. This is a C1 matchup, so the bout's being contested at 49, 56, 64, 75, and 91 kilograms. But before a punch had been exchanged, the home team Argentina Condors were 1 0 to the good, courtesy of a walkover in the 49 kilogram light flyweight division. So, in the bantamweight bout, with Argentina already leading 1 0, Alberto Ezekiel Melian, currently ranked third in season four, came out blazing and really put his opponent, Farid Kanouche, the Algeri Algerian debutant, under serious pressure. His left hand was a really profitable punch, uppercuts and hooks, and then it was a left over the top that drove Kanouche into the turnbuckle and brought about a standing count in round number two. Kanouche became increasingly ragged as the contest progressed, Melian, increasingly inspired and energized, applied sustained and serious pressure throughout the course of rounds two and three, and Kanouche was finding it impossible to resist. The left hand continued to be a really successful punch, and at the end of three torrid rounds, the Algerian's corner decided to pull him out. Melian, a TKO winner at the start of round number four. In the 64 kilogram welterweight contest, Argentina were represented by Alberto Palmetta, the number 11 ranked boxer, coming into this contest, and he took on the vastly experienced Abdul Qadir Chadi, 
making his first outing in season four, though he has contested every World Series boxing season so far. He was Dr. Point for excessive holding in round number four. In round number five, Palmetta was Dr. Point for boring in with the head. So a really physical, foul-filled encounter. But in between those moments of physicality, it was Chadi who produced the more effective boxing. And he had his hand raised. A unanimous points winner and kept his team in the contest as well as making a winning start to his own campaign in season four. The middleweight bout was an absolute cracker. Carlos Gabriel Ozan wearing blue trunks trimmed with white representing Argentina made a blistering start to his World Series boxing debut taking on a fellow debutante Nordin Samudi. Two boxers from the professional ranks and they exchanged some heavy leather throughout the contest. Samudi was on the floor in round number two courtesy of a brilliant left hook. To his credit, after being put on the floor, Samudi got on the front foot and took round number three. But the punch power and accuracy of Ozan was just impossible to resist. He brought about a standing count in round number five. Sensed that his man was hurt, he showed a terrific finishing instinct and stopped Samudi on his feet to secure victory for the Argentina Condors. A successful debut for him and a winning, unassailable margin for the home team. 255 of round number five. Gab Carlos Gabriel Ozan, a stoppage winner on his World Series boxing debut, which led us through to the heavyweight division. Highly anticipated bout between two 2012 Olympians, Yamil Peralta, the number three ranked Aiba Open boxer in the world, produced a dominant round number two. You see how he put Baludina, Shawi Baludina, from the Algeria Desert Hawks on rubbery legs with a furious assault. Baludinat had his moments, but invariably was met with responses like that. And in the end, in what was a rather disappointing affair, it was Peralta who had done more than enough to take a unanimous points victory and secure what makes mightily impressive reading for them. The Argentina Condors prevailing over the Algeria Desert Hawks in week four action by a scoreline of 4-1. Welcome to the highlights of the week four bout between the Mexico Guerreros and the Poland Hazars from the Juan de la Barrera Stadium in Mexico City. A war dance to kick things off, and that set the mood for the Mexicans. Five young game poles made the journey over, but they were up against uh, a real fighting force with the Mexicans. Elias Emigdio taking uh, a good start in the first round in the 52 kilo class against Marius Koch of Poland. The Mexican in the green shorts, 14 and 3 in his WSB, managed to get uh, a standing eight count against the pole in the second round. He did it again for a second time before managing to get the bout stopped by the referee. TKO, his second of the WSB. No, one. Sent back to his corner, the pole just had no reply for the power punching of Emigdio. Just the second bout won by the Mexicans with their 1-14 record now becoming 2-14. and 14. Sadly, the Polish Cesars on 0 and 16. On then to the next weight category, the lightweight 60 kilo class, Dolfo Delgado of the Guerreros, just 18 years old on his WSB debut, taking on David Mikulas of Poland, an experienced seasoned WSB fighter. Well, the early rounds taken by the Mexican, but the pole had some power punching which 
put the Mexican back in his place through round three and four. It was going to be a tight bout down to the final round. The judges scoring it, though, a unanimous win in favor of Lindolfo Delgado. Bout three was a welterweight 69 kilo class fight between Marvin Cabrera Vergara, a 6 and 1 WSB record, ranked number one in the world last year at middleweight, up against uh, the Polish fighter Arenius Zakoszewski. Zakoszewski was to struggle against the very experienced Vergara, who really threw everything into the first couple of rounds. Total dominance. Pounding the pole and taking a clear advantage. In the end, one referee scoring it 50 42 in favor of the Mexican. All three unanimous for Vergara. 3 0 so far on the night. The win guaranteed for the Guerreros. Then we moved on to the light heavyweights, and Abraham Viegas stepped in for Chiabanu on the night for the Guerreros. And it was Piotr Podlucci on his debut for Poland. Podlucci, somewhat overwhelmed by the power of Abraham Viegas, started to tuck up and take punishment in the final few rounds. Stop. The referee giving him a standing eight in round number four. He struggled against the experienced Mexican may well have been a substitute on the night, but he has plenty of WSB experience. Another unanimous win for the Guerreros, 4-0 on the evening, taking their record to a more respectable five victories so far this season and just 14 losses. Down to the final bout, and it was the super heavyweights. Juan Hiroseta pulling out in the night. Gerardo Brisbal of Puerto Rico stepping in for the Guerreros. Up against Arcadius de Borac, who strikes an imposing figure at nearly two meters tall. But he was just a bit slow oh. against uh, the super quick Brisbal, who's won a number of bouts in the WSB with those quick fists. And he managed to get a massive right hand onto the temple of the pole, striking him down for a knockout. Well, it was a great finish by the Guerreros. 5-0 and on the evening. One TKO and one knockout. Three by points. The Guerreros move up to 6-14. and I'm afraid the polls are 0-20. Three points on the ball then for the Guerreros. And a good night in Mexico City for the home side. Tonight, yet again on home turf, boxing team Russia returned to the action after an historic yet unsuccessful away face-off with top of the group and still unbeaten newcomers Cuba. Russia took a heavy hit with a 5-0 squad loss, so playing an A-team tonight. Fresh off the back of a 5-0 rampaging win last week over the Polish Hazars, the Baku bad boys from Azerbaijan roll out some of their finest tonight, including three debutants to meet Russia's challenge. And as last week's first round KO by Denis Latipov shows, never underestimate any WSB first-timers. Well, first up, at flyweight, Misha Aloyan, Ralph Agaev. Aloyan, the world champion, gives a masterclass against WSB debutant Ralph Agaev. And although suffering a cut early on, gauged distance and brought skills to outbox Agaev, putting number one on the board. At lightweight, Adlan Abdurashidov takes on Hershid Toshibayev. Abdurashidov convincing and consistent through all five rounds. Always in control, never in doubt of the decision. He had a worthy opponent in Tojibayev, but this was only going to go one way. With Tojibayev suffering quite a bad cut halfway through the fight. Abdurashidov became attritional, adding pressure. 
and adding number two on the board for Russia. At welterweight, Alexander Besputin for Boxing Team Russia. Yahuni Rameshkovich for the Baku Fires. Well, furious, full fat fight action between Besputin and Rameshkovich. And although the Aziri debutante had the skills and had success in some rounds, the rapacious intensity of Besputin won out across the five. Win three for the boys in blue. At light heavyweight, Dmitry Bivol took on Mikhail Dawalyevich. And with the fires going out on the boys from Baku, Mikhail Dawalyevich hit the opening rounds like a comet on fire. But that intensity was soon quenched by the ice cool technical skills of Bivol. Tiring towards the ends of the rounds, Dawalyevich. Finally, succumbed to the consistency of Dmitry Bivol. Another convincing win for the Russians. At super heavyweight, Sergei Kuzmin faced off Haji. Mertuzaliev. And the big boys came out to play. But this was more an affair of hugs than slugs. With Kuzmin tiring towards the end of each round. But some good boxing in between. And Kuzmin managing a safe majority win, making it a clean sweep across the board for boxing team Russia.